Today on Zev Outdoors, what we're tackling is, is we're going to get a Garmin 93 SV set up with side imaging and down imaging on the native kayak. And there's a couple of different ways you can approach this. One is obviously you can go buy a 93 SV um, from Garmin straight out of the box and use it exclusively for your kayak. In my situation, as you guys know, I have a bass boat and I have two 93 SVs on there. And because of the way that Garmin allows you the quick connect cradles that they have, I'm able to utilize one of those 93s on my kayak when I go fishing. So what I did is I bought another cradle and a boat install kit, and we'll put the link for that in the description. So if you have one of these units on a bass boat and you want to use, have that same type of system on your kayak, you don't have to go buy the full unit. So fortunately with me, because I have two units on my bass boat, I didn't even need another transducer because I had had a transducer. But again, we'll put the link in the description below. The boat kit that Garmin sells will give you the cradle mount, which is this piece right here for a 93 SV. You can also do this with their 73. It's the same exact thing. It'll give you the power cable and a transducer. So let's go ahead and get started with the walkthrough on how we got this installed onto the native kayak. So if you guys recall from my previous video on how to power your kayak, we put a power block in up front with the fuses. So what we did is we take our power cord for our Garmin, which is right here. You've got a fuse and you have your negative. And we just went ahead and put that into our power block, negative side and positive. And again, we're fused. So we're actually double fused on this. Fused with the power coming in from the battery as well as the power lead for the Garmin. This power lead then runs back to the cockpit panel on the back and we'll show you that in a minute. So that's how we hooked up the power cord for the Garmin. We'll go ahead and put our cover back on and then we'll go back again and we'll show you where, where that runs. So from that power connection that we had in the block up front, we ran that down the side of the gunnel of the kayak into the service panel that Native provides. We used a sealed connector to run not only our power cord through, but we have our transducer cable cord coming through there too. And we'll show you how we ran that in a second. These connectors are available from several different kayak manufacturers. I believe Yak Attack makes one. Um, so you can look online. We'll put a link in the description for either this one or something similar. But what this is, is it's a pressure fitted seal so that you can run your cables through there and it'll keep the water from going in the back. So our four pin Garmin connector runs up through this panel so that we can put that into the back of the cradle when we get there. But again, that power cable runs up through the side of the kayak up to our power block that we just showed you. Okay, so the other great thing that Native does is they already give you all the cut throughs and everything into the bottom of the kayak and a plate underneath to mount your transducer and we'll show you where that's at. They give you this plate sits in sits in this pocket and it has a foam bottom on it and what you do is you bring your transducer cable up from the bottom of the kayak up through this is very important the transducer is not going to fit through this hole so you have to start underneath the kayak feed your transducer cable up from the bottom of the kayak and then through your fitting this is very similar to the one in the power panel that we showed you you run this through and that goes up into the side of the kayak and comes right out by your power cord and you can go into that same fitting up there and then you have that. So once you do that and you have your cable up here, you want to make sure you leave enough underneath and you're just going to take this piece right here, pull your cable over into this little fitting and then we're going to lay that down in there. Okay. And make sure we're lined up on the screws. And then we're just going to take the screws that come with everything from Native. And I always recommend hand tightening these to start so that you don't cross thread anything. So then we'll take our screwdriver and we'll go ahead and get these tight. And you don't have to go crazy tight on them, but you also want to make sure they're good and snug because to keep the water from feeding back up through that hole. So now that we're underneath the kayak, you can see that we've run our transducer through this hole. And that's where we put that piece in up top. So we took this plate off. I took my Garmin mount for my transducer and I mounted that to that plate. And then I screwed those two pieces back on to the kayak. 
Now, if you bought a 93 out of the box or you bought the boat installation kit, this piece and this piece will be plastic. I happen to buy Garmin's metal mount. I think it's about $30. I just like the metal mounts better. So once we have this piece mounted back in here and we have the other transducer piece mounted on the actual transducer, then we can take our transducer and we can mount that onto our plate. And then you just take one bolt and one nut on each side. And we'll go ahead and get that one side started. And it's a little tricky because you're working underneath, I understand. And you can either do it this way and then put your washer on and then your nut. So now we got our two bolts and our nuts in the side, we can go ahead and tighten those up. You want to make sure that, especially if you have side imaging, that your transducer is hanging down past the side of the kayak because it needs to send out signal for side images out of both sides. And if it's tucked all the way up in here, it's only, it's just going to hit the side of the kayak. So you can tell my transducer is a little beat up. Um, for the most part, it stays pretty safe under here because it's tucked in behind the front of the bow of the kayak, but it is going to, you know, it is going to get a little beat up and that's just part of the game. So now that we have that up there, we're going to level it and we'll go ahead and get it tightened up. So now we have our power cable and our transducer cable ran back to the cockpit of the kayak. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our mount and our cradle set up for the Garmin. So to do that, make sure that when you order the Railblazer, they have, I believe, a couple of different model numbers. And again, we'll put the links for all this stuff in the description. But they have some that fit Hummingbird, Lowrance, and Garmin in the various units. So I had to make sure that I got the right mount plate to fit a Garmin 93 unit. And I believe it also fits a 73. So this piece up here, the cradle or the gimbal, actually comes with the Garmin unit. So you have to take four screws and four nuts and attach that piece to the rail blazer. So I've already done that. The screws come with the unit, so you have all that stuff you need. If for some reason you want to change up the hardware or something, it's just standard Phillips screws and lock nuts. So I've got all that mounted on there. The rail blazer unit comes with the mount that goes into the track system. Really easy to mount that. So I'm just going to slide that into the end of the track. And right now I'm going to put it, oh, let's put it about right here. And we're just going to turn that and that'll tighten down. There's a plate that's in the track and then this unit just tightens and you can see it just tighten down and we'll get that good and tight. One thing I would recommend is that it has a locking ring. I would just put that in line with the rail so that when you're locking and unlocking the unit, you know which way to push on that. So we'll unlock that. We'll take our unit that we mounted the Garmin piece onto and we'll just drop that into the, into the mount. And then we'll take the plastic piece and we'll drop that. We'll lock that on. So now that's on there. Now we'll take the cradle that the actual unit goes into and we'll mount that onto this. So now we have our unit mounted there. We'll take our power cable, which is the red, and we'll go ahead and screw that into the back of the unit. Now these are these have a pin on them and they're oriented a certain way, so don't force them in. Just turn them a little bit until they fit in. Now we'll take the orange one, which is our 12 pin transducer, and then just tighten up your collar on there. So now we have our cradle all mounted. We have our transducer cable and our power cable mounted up. So the next thing to do is we'll get our battery in here. We'll get our master power on and then we'll pop in the Garmin head unit. Okay. We got the Garmin head unit put into the cradle. We have our master power on. So now's the moment of the truth. We'll go ahead and turn it on. And there you go, guys, the unit's coming on. It's going to check with the transducer and everything's going to be cool. And we've got our 93 SV installed in our kayak now. So now when I want to use this head unit in my kayak, I can just take it out of the cradle of my Vexus, bring it over here, put it in the kayak, and when I want to use it in the Vexus, just take it back and forth. So really convenient, great way to get your unit set up and powered in your native kayak. Thanks for watching. 